that like stepping up is too much for your thighs and you're getting tired, you can always just step your foot forward onto the floor and then tap and do little movements from here and there, if that makes sense, instead of having to do the step up. Um, also, at any time, if you find that your wrist gets sore when you put your hands down, you can always do all the modifications on your forearms if you do have any wrist problems. And um, make sure that you, if you can, please put your mat down so that you've got your chair on top of your mat. And then also just feel the weight of your chair so that you have a bit of an idea with, with your prop. <laughs> make sure you don't drop your prop, you don't kick your prop and all of those things. <laughs> Okay, so let's get our beautiful show on the road. That's right, let me gently silence everyone. Thank you. Okay, Rolandi, take care, please. Um, no chest lifts for you. And if you need to just, um, you know, listen to your body, please listen to your body. Thumbs up, yay. <laughs> Okay, so if you've got your little sound system going, now's the time to all right, so I'm starting off with a jersey because we'll warm up as we go. So good evening and welcome to my Pilates Online. My name is Linda and this is your chair and bar class. Tonight's class is going to be a beautiful flow, dancing class. We'll be using our chair to connect to our glutes, our legs, making sure that we engage all the muscles in our body, making sure that we feel healthy, fit and strong whilst having fun. Please be aware of your prop while we're working tonight. Make sure it's secured on your um, mat. And please make sure that you either have a towel or a cushion so that any time in the class you need to use it for underneath your knees, you can. All right, so if you've got your playlist ready, then let's press play. One, two, three. Okay, so starting off, just gently step into the side, swaying your hips to the side and adding an arm as you do so. So we're starting off just by breathing and loosening our bodies and just getting us ready for a little bit of movement. Step, tap, step, tap. Just getting off your chair seat position and bringing a bit of energy back into your body. Let's take the arms higher. Beautiful. Three, two, and one. Good. We go. Tap, step, tap, step. Good. Step, tap, step, tap. Just gently rolling your shoulders forward. Bringing a little bit of movement into your body. We go. Knee up, tap. Knee. Knee. Good. And as you step, you're bringing your arm over. Really get down as you bend your knees as we walk up the Achilles. Good, and see if you can point your toes between lifting your knees and bringing them down and gently open your legs. Bend and stretch. Bend, arms open. Get your legs in a nice little turn up position. Good, forwards and up. Contract forwards and reach up with your arms. Contract, stretch, reach. Contract, stretch, reach. Two more. Contract, stretch, reach. Last one. Contract, stretch. Now bend your knees, take your arms all the way up. We go reach with the right arm, reach the left arm. Reach with the right arm, reach the left arm. Double up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, we roll down, two, three, four, five, stretch legs, and 
hand up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reach arms up and down. Keep breathing. And from there, we'll roll the way up to your feet parallel. We go up to the arms and hip and hip and hip sway to the side and sway to the side good sway two three four five six seven eight and reach your arms up and roll your body over as you forward fold gently bend your knees right up through your spine roll your shoulders back sway your body keep going it took me a full two seconds and roll. Good. Just loosening it out. Good. And from there, turn to face your chair. You're going to pick up your right leg. You're going to go tap, down, tap, down. Reach your arm over, flicking your hand. Tap, down, bend the knees. Down. We go. Tap. Down, tap, down, working into the hip flexor, tapping your toe to the top of the chair. Good, last one. There we go. Reach your arms back. Bring your arms overhead. Place your hands onto the chair. Stick your bum out. Draw your shoulders back and down. We're going to go rise and lower. Rise and lower. Two more. Rise and lower. Last one. Stay up. Bend your right knee, lower your left heel. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. We go. Release the body down. Roll the body up. Toe tap, tap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. From there, we reach over. We go rise and lower, rise and lower. Two more, keep squeezing your inner thighs together and your ankles together, hold it there. Right knee bends, one, two, and put a little swag into your glutes there. Let your bum go out and in. There we go, seven and eight. From there, we release the chest down. Roll the body up, left leg, tap, bend, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and down, two, three, four, rise, lower, rise, good work, lower, rise, lower, last one, rise, and we go, bend, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, rise up on your toes, lower your heels, Bring your forearms down to the chair. You're going to take your left leg to the side, bring it in. Take your right leg to the back, lift it up, lower, bring it in. So we go side, lift, lower, bring it in, back, lift, lower, double up on speed. One, lift, lower, in, back, lift. And your legs are parallel, two, and back, lift, lower, in, and reach, lift. And three, last set. Fourth one, lift, lower, in, back, lift, lower, in, roll up through your spine. Good, we go. Right, two, three, four, five, tap, six, seven, eight, and roll down, two, three, four, rise, lower, rise, lower, rise, keep your shoulders drawing down, rise, we change, we go, one, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, from there, lower down to your elbows, we go, side, lift, lower, together, left leg, back, keep your legs parallel and your tummy muscles engaged, lower, side, lift, lower, bring it in, back, lift your leg up, tighten up your glutes, double up with speed, we go, side, lift, lower, bring it in, back, lift, lower, bring it in, side, lift, lower, in, back, lift, lower, in, side, back, last one, side, and back, whoops, good, take your right knee down, take 
your left knee down. Bring your right knee up. Bring your left knee up. Let's go. Right, left, right, in. Right, left, right, left. Lower the knee. Lower the knee. Scoop into the abs. Last one. And lower, lower. Get ready for your left leg. Let's go. Down left. Down right. Bring it up left. Bring it up right. Down. Lower. Up. And up. Keep breathing. Keep those shoulders drawing back and down. Last one. We're going to repeat the whole little combination. Roll up through your spine. We go. Right. Bend. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Get ready with your hands on the chair. We go. Right. Lower. Two. Three. Four. We change. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. To the side. Side. Kick. Step together. Back. Kick. Step together. Side. Kick. Ready to change. Legs after this one. Left. 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 Up. Lower. Down. Back. Left. Lower down, side lift, lower down, back lift, lower down, right knee, left knee, well done, right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee, left knee, right knee, lift, and lower, last set, and you're going to repeat again from the top, that was your warm up, well done, one, and two, three, four, tap the chair, Five, six, ready for rise and lower. Eight, let's go. One, two, three, ready for prances. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, leg to the side. Lift up, lower to the back. Lift up, lower to the back. Side up, lower down, back. Lift to the same side. Lift up, lower to the back. Changing legs. Lift up. Lower to the back, left, good. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Roll up through your spine. Woo, are you ready? One more set, let's go. Tap, right, tap, left, tap, right, tap, left. Four more, three more, two more. One more, let's go. Rise, two just to four. Ready, little prances. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leg side, lift, lower down. Leg back, lift, lower down. Leg side, lift, lower down. Leg back, lift, lower down. Leg side, lift, lower down. Leg back, lift, lower down. Leg side, lift, lower down. Back, lift. Lower down, right and left. Quick after this, we go down, down, up, up again, down, down, slow with the left, left, right, left, quick ones. Down, down, up, up and down, down, up, up. Roll up through your spine, turn around, open your legs out to the side in a little squat position as wide as your hips. We go down for two, up for two. Squeeze that tush. Good. And up, double up. We go eight tap, stretch. Seven tap, stretch. And make sure every time you straighten your knees that you're activating your glutes. Four more. Good. And one more after this, take it down and hold it there. Hovering just on that seat. Hold it there. Keep squeezing your glutes as much as you can. Good. Reach the right arm, reach it forward. Reach the left arm, adding a little bounce into your knees. Good. Full circle. Round. Tap. Round. Tap. Right arm. Round. Tap. Left arm. Round. Tap, right arm, reach back. Tap, left arm, back. Beautiful, two more. Round and tap, last one, back. And tap and sit onto your chair, don't miss it. And good. We're gonna go bend, 
stretch, lower, together at the leg, bend, stretch, lower, good, cross your right ankle, open your left thigh, lean your back and the flat back forward, just opening up that glute and letting go of all that tightness and all that tension. Feel your breath. One more inhale. And as you exhale, fold your body all the way over, letting go of any tension in your back. Slowly rolling up through your spine and cross your right leg, cross your left leg over, and gently lean forward in a flat back. You really want to push your knee down with your hand. Feel your sit bones lifting up and out behind you. Two more breaths. One more breath. And then exhale, forward fold, releasing your body down, letting go of any tension in your back. Gently running up through your vertebra one at a time, placing your feet, separating hip width apart, hands on your knees. Arch, two, three, four, roll up through your spine. Arch, two, three, four, and scoop into your belly. So I want to see the difference between arching your back, pushing your chest forward, and rolling up in your spine. Arching and rounding. We reverse. We go. Roll in, two, three, four, push chest forward. Shoulders back and down. In, two, three, four, chest forward. Shoulders back and down. In, two, three, four, chest forward. Last one. And in, two, three, four, and chest. Beautiful. Now open your legs up to the side in a wider second position. From here, arch two, three, four, and activate your abdominals as you curl up through your spine. So we're really working your spine like a ribbon in the wind and we're creating mobility into all the nerves, into all the muscles. We reverse. Let's go. Curl into, push up the knees, lift the chest. Bring it up, scoop, activate. Chest up. Two more, beautiful. Scoop, activate, that's it. And lift, arch it up, last one. Very nice. And lift, well done. Gently bring your legs together. And then slowly walk your back, your bum forward off your chair as you hold the back of your chair. That's it. So you're gonna go bend, tap right foot to the side, bend. Tap left foot to the side, bend. So we're doing a little tricep dips here, and we add a little leg extension as you point your big toe to the floor, looking with your head as you gaze over your shoulder, and in, and go. We go, four more, and reach. Three more, two more, well done. Last one, very nice. Bring it all the way down, shift your weight forward in your toes, Find your balance, reach your one arm forward, other arm forward, stay high in your toes. Take a lovely deep breath in. We're gonna stretch all the way up. We go up on the toes, squeeze the glutes, down and lower. Up on the toes, squeeze the glutes, down and lower. Now as your arms go up, activate your rib cage so you don't fall backwards. Find your balance as you gaze in one direction somewhere. Four more. And up, squeeze, lower, hold, up, squeeze. If you find this too difficult and you need to can stop halfway, up, squeeze, lower, keep your ruby cheese in, up, hold it there, good, and gently release your arms down. Beautiful. Take your chair, make sure you flip it around without hurting your spine. Standing facing the chair in a turn down position. Make sure your arms are extended in front of you. You're going to take your right leg to the back. You're going to lift your right leg up as you bend your elbows. You're going to bend your back knee. You're going to stretch your back leg. You're going to swing your leg to the side. You're going to bring your leg to the back. You're going to cross your leg over and tap. I know it's a lot. You're going to bring it back up and you're going to lower your leg down and in. So we go at the side. Left leg goes up, bend your knee, stretch your knee. Swing your leg over to the side, bring your leg back around to the back. Now your leg continues to move, it crosses over and the supporting leg bends as your foot taps the floor. Lift your leg back up, 
and then lower your leg back in. Let's give it a try. We go. Lift, bend, stretch to the side, reach, cross it over, lift it up, close it in. We go. Lift, bend, straighten to the side. This is really good brain work. Cross it over, lift it up, bring it in. Right leg lifts up, bend your knee, stretch your knee to the side, leg to the back, cross it over, lift it up, cross it in. We go and lift, bend and stretch to the side and reach, cross it, bend the supporting leg, lift it up, bring it in. We go, one more slow, start to feel that rhythm to the side, reach back, cross it over, lift it up, close it in, left leg, hand up, bend your knee, stretch to the side, Reach it back, cross it over, lift it up, bring it in, bravi. So we like to work different patterns in this class and I like to add on more and more. Why? We get into those teeny tiny little muscles, not just your global muscles and start working in a three dimensional way, not just forward, back, forward, back. Okay, so grab yourself a quick sip of water. Okay. And we're going to do the exact same routine. We're just going to take it up with a little bit of speed, okay? So standing with your feet in first position, hands onto your chair, make sure you're not too close. Take a deep breath in, right leg to the back. Let's go. Lift, bend, stretch, side, back, cross, lift, and close. Left leg up, attitude, straighten, second, Side, cross it over, lift it up, close it in. We go, right leg, attitude, straighten, second, back, cross it over, lift it up, cross it in, left leg, lift, bend the knee, come keep that thigh high, don't let it drop as you take your leg to the side, cross it over, lift it up, last set, we go, back, bend it in, straighten to the side, reach it back, cross it over, lift it up, Close it in, left leg, reach up, bend attitude, stretch to the side, take it back, cross it over, lift it up, good work, just to the back, out and close. Two, you can bend your elbows, let your chest reach forward as we start working the height of the leg, what we call a grand back nod, a big kick of the leg, good. Swing and in, swing, and in, four more, swing, and in, three more, swing, and in, two more, swing, and in, last one, swing, and in, gently move yourself and turn to face the front, holding onto your chair. Take a lovely deep breath in, with your hand on your hip, then step to the side. So you're gonna go out into second, back in into first. Forward into fifth, back into first. Out to second, back into first. And every time you step out to me, you're bending your knees without lifting your heels or sticking your bum out. We add our arm out and in. And out, arm goes up and in. And out, bring it in. This is first with the arm and the leg. We go to second. Second, in. Fifth, in. Second, in. Fifth, in. Second, in. Fifth, beautiful. And if you can, get that little point every time you step forward. And second, in. Point, fifth, and in. Two more. Second, in, point, fifth. Last one, let's go. Second, and in. Now go back to second, keep your knees bent. Second, hold it there. Reach your arm up and go towards your chair. Side bending over, reach the other arm to match that arm, and then release your body down and over. Roll back up through your spine. Take your hand, put it on your chair, rotate your body to face the chair, bending both your knees. Squeeze the buttocks, I don't want it hanging there. Tighten it, let's pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Engage your core, four, three, Two, one, you're gonna pick up your back leg, you're 
You're going to lift your foot up, make sure you're not going to knock your knee against the chair, and then step back into a little lunge. And up, and tap, up, and tap. That's it. Inhale, squeeze into your abs, get that foot just a little bit higher than your knee. So you're really working into the hip flexor. Two, and hold it. One, rise up in your bottom foot, lifting that bottom heel. Find your balance, find your core. And gently and slowly from there, lower your foot, turn around to face the other way, hand on the hip. We go side, together, front, together, and side, together, front, together with the arms. Second, together, foot, together. Point out, point in, point up, and keep growing tall through your head. Don't let those heels lift. And up, four more. Out. First, foot and first, three more. Out and in and up. Good work. Three, two more. And up and in. One more after this. Keep breathing. Last one. Side, foot, front, foot to the side. We go, bend your knees. Reach your arm up and overhead towards your chair as you side bend. Reach your left arm in line with the right arm. Let your body release all the way down and over. Roll up through your vertebra one at a time. Rotate as you grab your chair into your lunge position. Squeezing that back glute. Let's pulse. Eight, good. Seven, six, five, four, squeeze. Three, don't let it go. Two, and one. We go, lift the knee and tap. Lift the knee and lunge. Knee up for tear and really get that knee high in the sky. Good. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. Engage your core. One more. Good. Let's go. Retire up. Rise up on your toe. Hold it there. Find your core connection. Find your balance. Beautiful. And gently, slowly release. Well done, hands back up on the chair. Woo, let's go down on the elbows this time, or forearms. You're gonna take your left leg out to the side, and you're gonna go reach your leg to the side, bend your bottom leg to lift this leg up. You're gonna lower the leg down, you're gonna bring it in, and you're gonna swap to the other side. Lift your leg up, lower your leg down, bring it in, your knees stay bent. Your hands do a little sliding action, from side to side. Let's go. Lift up, lower together. Lift up, lower together. Reach up, lower together. Reach. Keep breathing. Side, lift, lower. Side, lift, lower. I want you to leg high in the sky. Come, let's start getting that strength in. Let's get that height of your leg up. So we're really sculpting into your butt cheeks and building that cute little peach of yours. Up, down, together. Lift, lower together, lift, lower together, side, lift, good work, side, side, beautiful, last one, very nice, lower your elbows, legs rise and rise, lower, keep your knees bent, and lower, stretch, lift, heel to bum, stretch, we go, heel to bum, stretch, Keep your bottom leg bent and keep your shoulders drawing back and down. Good. And three more. Squeeze. Keep the thigh high. Keep those legs and hips parallel. Two more. One more. Good. Bring your leg down and close. Other leg. Let's lift them. Go. Squeeze and stretch. The higher you lift your leg in the sky and the more you squeeze your heel to your bum, keeping that leg parallel the more you'll feel that work in the back of your leg. And this is really such an important part to engage and strengthen. Two more. Squeeze, stretch, squeeze, stretch. Last one, squeeze, stretch, lift, lower your legs. Rise up, straightening your knees, bend your knees. Now from here, it looks like this. So you go hip and hip. One arm swaying from side to side. 
Keep your tummy muscles nice and tight. Very nice. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Side, side, lift, lift. Down, down, lift. Keep breathing. Good. We're nearly at the halfway point in the class. Beautiful. Four. Stay up on your toes. Two. Last one. One. Beautiful. Reach your arm up overhead. Take your other hand off. Find your balance. Feel your core engaging. Your inner thighs squeezing. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Lower your heels. Kick your leg. Lower. Rise. Lower hands on the cheek. Kick your leg. Now I want you to try keep your legs parallel. Lower. Kick. Together. Rise up. 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 Kick. And rise. Kick and rise. Three and up with your toes. Four and up and five. Good work. Six. Two more. Keep your shoulders drawing down. Last one. Kick. Well done. Hold it there. Grab your hands on your chair. Open your legs out to a wide position and bend your knees. Here we go. Stretch and bend. Make sure that you're not sticking your bum out as you bend your knees. Stand right up on your toes as you go into what we call a plie, a bending of the knees. Now, add a little contraction. Mind your head on top of your chair, please. Draw up in your thighs, feel those legs lifting high. And two more, and one more. And good, take it down, hold it there. Tuck your bum in, scoop into your belly and push over those ankles. Find it, hold it, very nice. Lower your heels, take your right leg, slide it across and put your left hand on the floor. That's it, bring it up, leg side, bend. Take your left leg back, put your left hand on the floor, bring your leg out to the side, bend your knees, we go. Down and second. Down, tap, set. Please mind the front of your chair. Make sure you don't knock your head on it. Lower your chest. Get down in that plie. Don't skip it. Lower. And lower. Very nice. Four more. Down. Three more. Two more. And last one. Come back to second. Lift up in your toes. And lower your heels back down. Stretch your legs. Well done. Breathe in. Lift your chest up into a high release back bend. Don't throw your neck back. Take your right arm up. Side bend over to the left. Sweep your body. Roll it forward. Hand on the chair. Left arm out to the side. And over we go. Roll your body forward. And up. Very nice. Right, here's your halfway mark. Drink some water and let's turn our chair around. Okay, so making sure you've got cushioning on top of your chair when you get back. And when you're back, I want you to pop your knees on top of that chair. All right, so you're up over here in the chair, you're squeezing your glutes, you're taking your left leg and you're bringing it around the front of the chair so your foot is reaching over. You're going to straighten your leg, keeping your spine long, bend your leg. You're going to straighten and activate your core and bend. At the same time, we're going to reach our arms up and side and down. So we're using the chair to work the quadricep and work also the thigh into strengthening up the height of the leg. How else are we going to get our leg up? Reach it up and bring it down. Beautiful. Last one. Reach it up and bring it down. Well done. From there, 
Put your hand on the inside, swing your leg around to the back in an attitude, sweep your knee in. Step your right leg off. Okay, take your left leg, reach it down as you cross, touch the floor behind you, and then gently bring your left knee up, your right knee up, and you're gonna take your leg around to the front on the inside of the hand. Stretch the leg, reach the arm up. Circle your leg around, bringing your arm down, bending your knee. From there, take your foot to the floor, put your right foot down, and then cross your leg over, bring it up, pick it up, Come back on your chair. Let's try that one more time. Leg over, stretch your leg, reach your arm up, get your leg up off the chair as you circle around, bending your knee from there, lower your knee, foot to the floor, right foot down, left foot crosses, you touch the floor, from there you pick up and you climb back on. Right, so we go. Lay on the chair, stretch, round, bend your leg, lower. Step, tap, up, on, leg up, stretch, circle, round, step, off, down into a curtsy, pick it up, we go, leg up, straighten, round, place your hand on the chair, step off the chair, take it down, curtsy, bring it up, and up, thigh, reach, circle, back, leg, step it down, Curtsy, bring it up, stand on, and stop. Well done, right leg up, beautiful work. Take a deep breath in as we go, stretch and bend. Grow tall in your spine, don't let your spine sink. I want your chest lifted, your chest proud. Four, three, two, and one. Reach your right arm up. Open your arm out to the side as your leg circles back around the chair, bend your knee. Take your foot off the chair. Step your foot off. Right leg crosses. Curtsy down. Bring your right leg, it's quite a big jump up with your knee. Right leg over. Arm leg. Circle grand on the jambe. Bend. Step off. Step left leg. Cross right leg. Take it down. And then bring it up and up. Sorry. Right leg up, straighten, circle your leg around, hand on the chair, bend into attitude. Step your right foot up, step your left foot down, reach and curtsy. Right leg does a big kneel up as you come up. Leg up, reach and stretch, circle arm and leg around, bend your knee. Step your foot off the chair, left foot crosses, right leg down, step your right leg back up, well done, two more. Right back, straighten your leg, lift your leg, grind around the jump, bend the knee. Step, step, cross, tap, knee up, and last one, leg up, stretch, circle, wrap, bend, step, step, cross down, good, and up, well done, very good. From there, turn around, facing the side of your chair, Take your hands, put them down onto the floor. Taking your outer leg that's away from your chair, stretch your leg up. From here, we're gonna pulse the leg. Eight, seven, six, shoulders are drawing down. Four, three, now if you find it's too hectic, keep going, you're gonna hold the top of your chair so you'll be up here doing this. Okay, that's the option. Make it a bit easier. Good. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put your hand up on the chair. Bring yourself up and swing your leg to the side. Step your foot down. Reach your arm up. Bring it back in. Take your leg, lift it up. Sweep it to the back. Sweep your leg to the side. Lower it down. Reach up and down. Leg, back, side. Lower, reach up, lower down. Leg up, back, side, lower down. Arm up, hand down, we go. Leg up, back, side, lower down. Reach up, good, two more. Side, back, reach, lower, arm up, take it down. Side, back, side, lower, reach up, lower down. Well done.
shaky from there. You're gonna swing around to the other side if you need a little chair change over, a chair over. Take your climb up onto your knees. Take your hands, either keep them up on your chair here or walk them down towards the floor. Stretching your leg that's away from the back of your chair to the back in derriere. Repulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Get weight into your hands. Two more sets. Really draw the kneecap up at the back. Three, four. Keep breathing. Five, six. Don't give up. Eight more. We go. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Last two. One. Bring your knee in. Gently walk your hands up through to the front of the chair and then stretch that same leg out and around to the side. We go around to the back. Bring oh, the leg to the side. Lower the leg down. Reach the arm up. Place the hand down. Your leg lifts to the side and back. And side, lower, arm up, arm down. Lift three, and back. And it's super tough to get your leg to the side. That's your glute medius working. We want that one to get strong. That's the one that causes all the sacroiliac joint problems if you're not strong over there. All those lower back problems come from that because that muscle isn't strong enough. So keep going, we've got two more to go. Back, side, and look, reach and down. Last one. Lift back, side, lower, reach up. Well done. From there, gently climb off. All right, so facing your chair, the chair's facing you. Make sure that it's on your mat. Place your hands onto the chair. You're going to bend your knees and drop right down in the squat. You're going to stretch your legs, lift up, bring your right leg up, kick your leg up, step it down, step off, left leg up, kick it up. Now remember, if you don't want to do the step up in your chair, you can just keep your feet there and do the kicks here on the floor. All right. So take a lovely deep breath in and breathe out. Six, seven, let's go. Bend. And stretch two of these. Bend and stretch. Right, left, step, step, left, right, step, left. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Left leg. Left kick. Step down. Right kick. Step down. Plie and stretch and drop the thumb right down. Good. You can also do little half bends there. Lower. Lift, kick, step, down, plie, and up, plie, and up, left leg, left, kick, and right, kick, good, plie, don't give up, I know this is tough, I know it's heavy on the quads, right leg, right, kick, lift, kick, well done, lower, and stretch, beautiful, left leg, we go, Left kick, last one. Woo! Well done. Turn around, have a little seat. Feet together, right hand crossing over, left arm reaches up. Do a little circle. Breathing in. Let your body move, drop it down, ripple it up. And down, ripple up. And uh, ripple up. Last one, take it down. Ripple all the way up. Hands behind the head. Contract forward, round your spine. And arch your back. Sit your bum out. Contract forward, round your spine, take your bum in. And arch, bum out. Left hand across the right thigh. Contract over as you reach your right arm forward, sweeping it around as you circle. Down and rock and go and ripple and down and ripple and down and ripple. Last one and ripple and gently release. Gently and slowly stretch your legs out in front of you. 
holding onto the back of your chair. Take a lovely deep breath in. Bend your knees, tuck your bum, push your bum forward. Please make sure your chair doesn't move. You don't want your body too far this way. You want to keep your shoulders above your hands. From here, you're going to slowly cross your right leg over, balancing on one leg. Bum goes back, bum goes up, and cross, put your foot down. Your feet are slightly separated over there. Left leg crosses over, bum goes back, lift up, and cross it over. If you need to do this on your elbows, you could also do this on your elbows. So you're going cross, bum back, lift it up, and cross. Cross, bum back, lift it up, and cross. Cross, bum back, lift it up, and cross. Cross, bum back, ready, double up. Cross, back, lift, and over. Cross, back, lift the tush, lower the foot. Cross the leg, bum back, lift it up, and cross, lift, down, reach, good. Gently and slowly from there, bring your bum back. Shake out your wrists, I know they've worked. We've got to strengthen our wrists, and how do we do that? We work them. Okay, good, well done. Slowly from there, bring yourself up. If you need extra cushioning, you can always just fold your mat in half. Come kneeling. Put your elbow onto your chair and stretch your right leg to the side, making sure that you are lifting up and out of your ribs. I just want to put my towel here on my chair. You can do the same too. Yes, that feels a bit better. So put your towel on your chair so your elbow can balance there. Leg goes up and down. Now when you lift your leg up and down, you don't want to stick your bum out. So that might mean that your leg height is going to reduce dramatically, but rather keep your leg at that lower height and keep your bum pushing forward. So you're really avoiding the bum out to get the leg up. Lift. Good, we go. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Lift, lift, lower. <sighs> exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale. <sighs> Three, two, and one. Good work, well done. Bring it in. Gently turn around to the other side. Put your elbow on the chair. Hand behind your head. Tuck your bum in, push your tush forward. Five, six, seven, single lift. We go, lift and lower. Two, bum in. Three, lower. Four, good. Exhale, five, lower. Six, lower. Seven, lower. Eight, we go. Lift, lift, lower, bum in. Two, lift, 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 lower, lower. Four, lower, lower. Five. Tuck your bum in, six, lower, lower, seven, lower, lower, eight, lower, lower, bring it in, well done, woo, gently release, having full heart flushes, I hope you are too, cross your right, or lower your bum down, bring yourself down onto your elbow, and put your one leg up on top of your chair. Once you've got your one leg up on top of your chair, you want to make sure you're down on your bottom elbow and that this elbow is directly underneath your shoulder. Pick yourself up, make sure your body's in a straight line, and then keeping that leg up on the chair, you're going to reach your arm up. Now just hold it there and make sure that your shoulder's drawing back and down and that your elbow's not too far behind you. You're going to take your bottom leg and you're going to lift it up if you feel you can, otherwise just hold up and tap. Two, and tap. Four, that's it, good. Five, work your inner thigh here and down. Good, seven, and eight, well done. Gently twist yourself over, come down into your elbows, clasp your hands together, draw your belly up, and pick up your legs. You can either pop them on top of your chair, or you can put them on the ground. Obviously on the ground's easier, Keep breathing. Feel that you're pushing your elbows in the floor, that your head is not dropped. Keep your inner thigh squeezing together. 
four, three, two, lower your left leg down, twist yourself around. Okay, make sure that this elbow is directly under your shoulder. Reach your arm up. You can either hold it here, or you're going to join me and lift your leg. Take a deep breath in. Let's go. Lift and tap. Two and tap. Three. Lower. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Don't give up. Five. Keep pushing. Six. Lower. Two more. Seven. Last one. And eight. Well done. Twist yourself back into your plank position. I really want you to pull your belly button up here. Don't hang in your lower back. And from there, we're going to take our leg up onto the chair. From here, take a deep breath in. You're going to go lift the bum up in a little pitch and bring bum down. Take bum up, exhale. Lower bum down. Three more. Exhale, bum up. Inhale, lower down. Two more. Keep your chest still. And up. And lower, last one. And up. And lower. Slowly, one knee down. Other knee down. Gently sit back in your rest position. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Roll it through your spine. Restack in your vertebra. Well done. Bring yourself up into a standing position and turn to face your chair. You're doing great. Got a little bit more to go. And this time, you're going to turn your legs out and hold your chair. Engage your tummy muscles. And you're going to do a little attitude kick. So keep your knees bent. Reach your right leg to the back and we're going to go bend your knee, stretch your leg. Bend your leg, stretch your leg. Bend your leg, and now you're going to add lift, contract, lift, contract. Exhale, lift. Last one, and lift. Now keep your leg bent, you're going to reach right on back, holding your chair, grab your foot. You're going to pick up your thigh, lift it as high as you can in the sky. If you can, move your hands to the higher part of your chair. Find your balance. Stretch the bottom leg. Slowly bring that leg down. Turn your legs out. Stretch your left leg to the back. We go. Kick. Contract. Kick. Contract. Good work. Lift. Make sure your shoulders are drawing down. Lift. Two more. Lift. Last one. Lift. Good work. Lift your leg up. Take your hand. Reach it back. Grab right onto your foot. Lift your thigh high in the sky. If you feel you can, move your hand to the high part of your chair. Stretch your bottom leg. Gently and slowly release, bringing it all the way down and gently lower down onto your knees. Good work. Now from there, I want you to move to the outer part of your right knee and I mean your mat and place your knees on top of your cushion. Leg. Step your right leg forward and lower your elbows onto your chair. Tuck your back and toes under and lift your back knee up off the mat below you. So you're really sinking down here into your hips, activating into your tummy muscles. Start to breathe. And really using the warmth that is in your muscles right now to deepen and open up all that tension inside your hips. This is my favorite time to stretch. I absolutely love it and my body feels so warm and so connected. And then I have this range that I can just start opening and working. And I hope you can feel that too. And then slowly and gently from there, bend your knee. Now your knee must please be on that cushioning. 
Take your opposite hand, reach it back, and grab your back foot. You want to squeeze your heel towards the bum as you square your hips off. Feel that quadricep opening right up for those of you who are sitting for prolonged periods of time, as well as if you are running. <laughs> um, you know who you are. <laughs> And I want you to really stretch and do this, okay? So you're opening up once. Breathe in. Lung exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in one more time. Move through that discomfort wherever it might be and slowly release. And gently from there, move your cushioning over to the other side. Move your body over to the other side, picking up your other leg and coming forward into a deep lunge position. So please make sure that when you're in this position, your left heel is directly underneath your knee and your left leg is forward. Your hips are nice and square, so you're getting into that hip flexor there and just allowing your body to soften. Finding your breath, breathing into the tightness. Just feeling this amazing surge of um, endorphins and um, just a feel good feeling as serotonin should be moving beautifully through your body right now. And also, I find that you know, exercising is a wonderful way for you to channel any frustrations that you've been feeling during the day helps us to really move and shift the energy emotionally and physically inside our bodies so that we can connect the mind to the body and then find the states that we can have there. Slowly and gently from there, reach your opposite arm back, grab onto your foot, gently bringing your heel to your bum, again allowing your pelvis to melt forward, allowing your chest and your body to lift. And just breathing into the stretch, Allowing all your tightness and all your tension in your thigh to be released. And breathing in one more time. And exhale, slowly release, letting go. It's really important that we stretch out our glutes. So sitting down onto your mat, you can either cross your legs over like so, or you can cross one thigh over the other thigh. Make sure that you've anchored both your sit bones, breathe in and then slowly lean forward into it. Allowing your body to melt and just breathe in. Letting go of all the tightness inside the hips, the thighs, letting your body just surrender for a moment in time. And very gently and very slowly roll yourself all the way back up and change over. Changing to the other side, breathing in, and then gently and slowly just releasing your body down forwards. Letting go of all your tightness and all your tension. Allowing the hips to open. Letting go of any tension inside your sciatic nerve. Breathing. And very gently and very slowly roll yourself all the way back up. And just sit in a comfortable position just for a moment. Let's connect into our breaths. So just sitting comfortably, you can place your hands one on top of the, or one hand on top of the other, your knee and the other hand on top of your knee. 
Take a lovely inhale, breath through your nose. And as you exhale, take your ear to your shoulder. Circle your chin down and forwards. Rolling your chin to your chest. Over to the side. And breathing out, chin to chest. Forward circle. Over to the side. Letting go of any tension that might reside in your neck. Any stress that you might still be holding on to. Lift your chin a little higher this time. And one more chin down. Way back. Well done. Give yourself a beautiful round of applause. Thank you so much for joining me in the chair podcast tonight. And um, I look forward to seeing you next week. Well done.